We added a lot of sparkle to spring. We made jewel-like Easter bunnies with daffodils, frills, bonnets, and bows, and you can do this too. Starting with recycled foil and glass paint, we'll show you how with love for a country house. Project, you'll need a figurine made of ceramic, plastic, resin, or chalkware like this. We made our own from scratch and we'll show you how to make those in another video. First thing you'd want to do is prime it. We use plain white acrylic paint to prime it so the glue will stick to it. Then let it dry. We're smoothing ours down because we had some rough edges on the chalkware and you don't want that to go through your foil. This is standard weight aluminum foil. There's a dull side and shiny side. We're gonna be using the shiny side and we're also gonna be using this recycled foil for a whole lot of texture. We're using this burnishing tool and we're gonna rub it just to show how it presses out most of the wrinkles. Try both fresh and recycled foil and see which one you like the best. We're using decoupage glue because it'll dry nice and clear even though we're going to be really careful to wipe it off. We're going to tear some irregular shaped pieces. We don't want any straight edges because they'll show. So use your scissors if you have to or, or just tear it with your fingers. Fit it onto the figurine where you think it's going to go and then put your glue on the dull side of the foil. You can also put the glue directly on the figurine. In fact, Putting it on both works really well. And then you press it into place and you begin to wipe it away. This is mostly to get any excess glue out of the way. Keep adding and layering these torn pieces of foil, making sure they're very flat and pressed against the figure so that all your details will begin to show through. You're wiping away glue and burnishing at the same time. The idea is to make it look as though you've used only one piece of foil, but you've actually layered them and wrapped them around the sides too. Sometimes you can feel the foil slipping, like in this illustration, and that's because the glue is still wet, but as it dries, and it does very quickly, within five minutes or so, it's going to be easy to work with and burnish. We we'll start turning down any edges that don't have any glue and using this quarter inch paintbrush, applying more of the decoupage glue and smoothing those edges down. Try not to bunch up the foil. It makes it hard to make it smooth. Just try to keep lots of flat layers of the foil. Check frequently for any edges that are still unglued. Eventually, you'll have enough layers of glue that even those troublesome corners will stay down. We used baby wipes to do the cleaning work and that helped us find a lot of the loose edges that didn't want to stay down. So here's about the fourth layer of glue here and we're using the end of the paintbrush to do the burnishing. There was an awful lot of burnishing because it was kind of fun to find the air pockets and the wrinkles and watch the details emerge from this magical bunny. Now watch how we turn this silvery bunny into a jewel with glass paint. We worked out our design first in a painting program, so we're going to show you the paints, then we'll do a paint by number in this video. If you'd like to try the same paint techniques that we did step by step. So this is the kit that we started with. It's called Pabello the Trail Discovery Set and it comes with 12 different colors. Vitral means stained glass in French. So first we made a practice pad of foil. We got our cotton swabs and we went through all these colors one by one. We had off-white, we had lemon, gold, orange, pink, crimson, turquoise, green gold, parma violet, deep blue, brown, and black. So we started out by getting a feel for the intensity and how to blend and how our tools would work. We also bought a bottle of bright white glass paint and this is how we started the project. We used this bright white paint to do what we thought would be some underpainting and it turned out we didn't like it at all. The bright foil is all you need for a highlight, but that's when we discovered that we could use silver leaf rub and buff to erase anything you don't like. And then we erased all this white paint later. You can also use the rub and buff to mix with your vitriol colors to make a pastel effect. Okay, now for our step-by-step -step tutorial. The first color we did was orange inside the bottom of the ear. And then secondly, we spread that orange up into the top of the ear. This is inside of the ear. 
This is showing how you shake the bottles, you get a little bit of the color on the lid, and that's all you'll need. We used very little paint to do this project. So for three, we started putting some of the pink on the nose, the cheeks, and inside the ear on top of the orange. And then four, we used the green gold to start detailing the grass. We used the brown paint, number five, to underpaint where the eye is gonna go. Then six, we started layering the gold paint all along the spine of the bunny. It goes from the haunch to the top of the foot, all the way up to the ears, around the head and the chin, but leave all the front parts of the bunny clear. And you can put a little bit of orange on the front of the arm too. Now we're using a sponge brush, which is great for dispersing this paint. We're putting this intense orange on top of the gold, letting a little bit of the gold show towards the front of the bunny, and concentrating it along the back or the spine edge of the bunny. The color is beginning to resemble polished copper. After a lot of this smoothing work is done, we can get to more of those details. We can use crimson or pink, if you wish, for the details around the flowers. And then for our ninth step, we're gonna color this basket. We'll use the lemon yellow, and at the bottom of the basket, we'll blend it with orange. You can even put a little bit of the brown at the very bottom later. But what you do is you put the yellow and the orange, and then with the dry side of your swab, you can smooth it and blend it together. And then get that sponge brush, which works so well in dispersing these colors, and just sort of dab over it. Now for step 10, we're gonna work on the sky. We're using this tiny little paintbrush that we found at Hobby Lobby. We actually like using pointed swabs as well. Then we use the dry end of a swab to start wiping it back, but then you reapply it. You can even use that rub and buff to blend with this blue, but the main thing to do is make sure you've got a clear line of demarcation between the sky and the bunny. The next thing we did was glue on the egg and tint it with turquoise. We used black on the eye, and when that's dry, we put a little white catch light or highlight on the eye. Then we paint the base with a neutral color. The emerald grass was made with turquoise plus green. And now we're gonna make her a collar using this pie pan. We cut off a bit of the, the edging and then we crimped it with our pliers so it didn't have any sharp edges. We glued it in place, we glued on the bow, a little more rouge. It looks a little French, doesn't it? Let's paint her compagnon. We've learned a lot from the first one, so well, this time we're gonna start with brown, underpainting where the eye's gonna go. Then we'll rouge the cheeks and the nose and the area just on either side of where the mouth is gonna be. Smooth it out, put it on, pounce it on, and then smooth. We like orange for inside the ear. You can hold your wrist and that will help steady your hand for some of these smaller details. Now we're gonna paint the strap that holds the basket on the back. We mix Parma Violet into the white and then we're using straight Parma Violet to create stripes on the basket itself. You can also use pointed Q-tips for a lot of these detail works. Here's what they look like and we ended up liking these the best for doing detail work and you get a lot for your money with those. Now we're using two swabs at once to make work go a little bit faster. We're applying the gold underpaint, just like we did for the first bunny. Now we're gonna glue on the egg and paint it lime green by combining green gold with yellow, a black dot for the eye, and now we're gonna add pink on top of the gold and disperse it and blend it in. Use the pink on top of the basket, blending right on top of the Parma Violet. So this bunny actually ends up looking a little bit more like rose gold. We snipped the pie pan rim so that we were able to bend it into a circle, glued it and clipped it. The hat band was made by pressing foil into a long rectangle and trimming it straight on one edge. Then fitting everything together and gluing it until it looked like a chapeau. Then we painted the flowers and placed those along the hat band and we barely used any of the stained glass paint. There's still plenty left for lots of projects. Wait until you see all the things you can do with stained glass paint. Okay, see you later. For more colorful country projects, visit steffimccarthy.com. 
and click on the Sun logo to subscribe.